This is the Transformers Generations Studio Series 86, figure number two from, from Transformers the movie, Cup, Deluxe Class Cup. Very cool, interesting. Uh, not one of my favorite Autobots, uh, but he was a pretty interesting character in the movie, if not one of the more iconic ones. I picked up this figure from Hobby Corner. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is Cup out of packaging, and I love how this figure turned out. It gives me so much of that vibe of the movie. And this is probably one of the more streamlined, more accurate looking cup we've had for the Generations line. I love the colors. Uh, I, I love the silhouette and design of the overall figure. And most importantly, that head sculpt. I think this head sculpt is perhaps one of the more accurate ones we've had in a long time. I've been collecting a lot of cup figures for the past years and this one, probably one of the best ones Hasbro's ever done. A closer look at the details of the figure, he comes with several accessories. First one is his so accurate G1 <laughs> styled blaster pistol. Wow, this really turned out great, I think. Details, even the color, very cool. He also comes with this Energon dispenser. Uh, which we, we saw him use when they greeted the Alicons. I don't know if it's that accurate, but I love the fact that it's already dispensing an Energon chip. It's, uh, it's in uh, clear plastic, but uh, which you can illuminate, I suppose, with some lighting and it will look like an Energon chip. The figure does come with this nice diorama of that giant robotic squid will he where uh, with whom he gets entangled with and hot rod uh saves him from in order to see one of the tentacles being cut by hot rods buzz saw and to duplicate that scene you can remove uh his limbs his legs or his arms, you know, they, they, they're really meant to be removed. The pegs are not flared. Yeah, the swivel pegs are not flared. At the same time, they're not loose. You can reattach the arms or, or legs easily uh, by just snapping them in. I, I like the fact that they're tight enough, but they're not super tight that, you, you know, you'd hate to keep on popping and popping them in. Fix me. Cup, fix me, hot rod. And then he gets fixed. It's about like this, I think. I think he lost his left arm and right leg. That's pretty cool. I like that gimmick. Articulation for this figure. He's got a ball jointed neck, waist swivel. Shoulders can go in and out, forward and backward. Bicep swivel, we've seen. Uh, Hinge elbow that hinges more than 90 degrees, about 110, 120 degrees. Four arms, oh no, no swivel on the wrists. Hips can do the splits, forward and backward. Thigh swivel, as you've seen earlier. Hinge knees, toes because of transformation, and the ever-present rocker tilt. Just not particularly sure about this chest, this translucent, well, transparent uh chest that's been painted metallic not too sure about that uh I, I thought in the cartoon it was a little bit more opaque but it's okay um i actually like it i actually like it more uh, it's a little inaccurate because this one turns out great in vehicle mode some great paint apps overall i mean cup was a really drab color this is he's got he's done in this sort of teal bluish teal type of color uh, and the one, the colors they use for this figure is very cartoon accurate. Look at that head sculpt. Very emotive. You can, you can almost hear him, you know, talking to Grimlock and, and, and all that. Now, speaking of Grimlock, I haven't opened up the Transformers the Movie 86, Studio Series 86 Grimlock. But what I do have is the Voyager class Power of the Primes Grimlock. And man, is this figure already outdated uh, because of the Studio Series 86 Grimlock. Nevertheless, you can kind of still 
do that whole <laughs> dialogue thing and that you can recreate moments from the movie even with this figure yeah he's, he's a little too small and i haven't seen a lot of reviewers do this uh here is cup with the alicon it kind of looks small with cup if you have several of them you could recreate that scene like wait 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 hot rod we should use the universal greeting bow weep grana with nini bong what and they bow we grown out with any ball and then um they he gives him an energon dispenser and they all grab <laughs> they all try and get a piece of that energon <laughs> and he runs out so that's pretty cool i thought this this kind of uh accessory was very apt for this figure considering that the fact that one that was one of the that scene was one of the funniest uh scenes I remember growing up as a kid when, and I, when I watched it with my friends or when we told stories with our friends, everybody in my group when we were in school, bow, we brought out with me, 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 bong. I mean, everybody was just having a laugh at that scene. So I thought this was pretty, pretty neat. And now for the dreaded transformation. Why are all the transformations so far of these 86 figures, you know, cause me some dread i don't know why except for jazz oh jazz a little bit the last part but blur blur was uh, such a chore to transform and to a certain extent this cup figure there are some steps that for me were quite questionable that i did not enjoy but we'll see anyway there is no way to store the weapons in robot mode unfortunately i haven't found any port or peg where you can mount them but in, in alt mode we'll be able to to store them so um, first thing you want to do is you want to rotate that head sculpt just like that and then you want to pop the shoulders here like that straighten out the arms for now or you can keep them bent if you want to and then the back piece is going to untab like that and open up okay fold out the wheels like that Okay, and then the shoulders, this is a little bit tricky. The instructions say to do this, or no, to, to un unfold it this way, and then rotate this way. So it's a two-step thing, and really what you just wanted to do is you, you just want to do that. You just want to unfurl that whole shoulder uh, joint. And then what you want to do is you want to untab the abdominal piece right here. Okay. And then slide that back down like that. And then this piece is going to cover up that head sculpt. Like that. And then you're going to want to close in these shoulders. And I thought this was a little tricky because you had to find that right sweet spot just to combine everything. Like that. And then the legs. The legs are, you're going to fold them out this way. And then what you want to do is you want to unpeg those shins, okay? Bend the knees at an angle this way, and then repeg those shins. I like I love the fact that the that these shins have like two kinds of uh, peg holes: one for uh, the skewed position, and the another one where you peg him back when in normal robot position. I thought that was pretty cool, very nice form of engineering. And if you once you've done that, you'll allow the leg, the arms to go in between the legs like this. Oh, okay, wait. I suppose you can bend that whole uh, lower torso assembly like that. And then more tricky bits, uh, these panels right here, they're gonna unfold like that. And then they're gonna sort of tab in to that slot right there. You can see it. Yep. You're gonna just tab it in like that. Okay. Okay. Once you've done that, you can clearly see where this thing is headed. Fold up, fold up the feet. And then these panels right here are gonna form the truck bed, the Cybertronian truck bed. Fold them down like this, and then sort of tab them in like that. 
And then the fists, they're gonna tab onto those pegs from the truck bed. And you just need to make sure everything's flush because there is a two millimeter clearance from everything here from these uh, from these robot bits uh, from the ground to the ground. Uh, the wheels are so recessed that if you don't fold everything properly, they're not going to roll properly. So we'll see. Yep. It looks, it looks like that uh, we've done it properly. And there you go. There is Cup in his Cybertronian pickup alt mode. It rolls very nicely, very smoothly, if I may add. If you fold them properly, the elbows and that crotch piece should not be hitting the ground. So it's pretty cool. I actually like this alt mode. It's pretty accurate. Like, like I said, the, I love the clear uh chest more than let's say if had they made it cartoon accurate too cartoon accurate made it opaque i do like that i love the colors i love how it turned out you can store the weapons over here nice autobot logo right there same here and the energon dispenser can stay right there i thought this was really really nice this was such a nice alt mode the the way to get there can be a little tricky but it's not as bad as let's say blur you know blur was oh God, I didn't have fun here was still enjoyable and just for size comparisons here he is with the uh, earthrise sun streakers it, it does kind of come out a little small but i guess that was that was the alt mode of cup wasn't really that big and i thought this was pretty nice very very cool nice detail Nice, very smooth transition. The pa there's hardly any robot bits showing in robot mode unless you turn it over. But yeah, very nice, very seamless. And so some final thoughts on Cup. I love this figure. I think it's one of the better figures here in the Studio Series 86 line. It had its problems with transformation by a little bit, but it wasn't as bad or annoying as the Blur figure. I think the aesthetics came out great. The colors came out great. That head sculpt is fantastic. This is a very iconic version of Cup and quite possibly the quintessential Cup that we've had in a long time. We've had several Cup figures in the deluxe class uh, for the Generations line and nothing comes close to how accurate this figure is uh, to how he looked like on the cartoon. It brings back so much memories having this figure. I'm going to give this figure a 9 out of 10. Definitely one to pick up if you loved the Transformers 86 movie. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Studio Series 86 Cup. Hit me up in the comments and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And if you want to help the channel out, please check out my Patreon account. There's a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.